How to Build Your Startup While Achieving the Best Work-Life Balance This presentation will discuss building your startup while achieving the best work-life balance possible. Here's the thing. Running a startup is no easy task. The reason for this is that there are long hours and plenty of hard work involved. A healthy work-life balance will be beneficial for your mental health and overall well-being. Without this balance, your mental, physical, and emotional health can be affected negatively. Let's get started with the steps you can take right now. The first tip is that you need to prioritize your time. Time management is key when it comes to running a business. One of the things you need to do is prioritize your most critical tasks. You'll need to focus on the tasks that are the most important and most urgent. If there are tasks that are important but not urgent, worry about those later. For those urgent but not important tasks, you can find someone who can get the tasks done for you. This is also known as delegating tasks. You'll need to find someone who knows what to do. They need to be skilled and competent enough to perform these tasks. This will free up plenty of your time. You'll be able to use more of that time towards other tasks or whatever else you want to do. The next step is to take breaks. It's never a good idea to keep going without rest. The whole all gas, no breaks mentality is not what it's cracked up to be. You can take regular breaks in order to avoid burnout. It's also a good idea to practice regular mindfulness. This includes regular breathing exercises in a peaceful setting. You can spend a few minutes doing this every single day. When you do this, you'll be aware of what's going on. You'll also feel more in control of your stress. Stress is unavoidable, but it can be manageable. Regular mindfulness practice during your breaks will be important. You can also take walks, stretches, or even meditate. These are great to do when you're taking a break or even off times. No matter what time of day it is, do these activities to ensure that you keep your stress at bay. The next tip we'll provide is setting boundaries. This includes setting clean expectations of when you're going to be available to people and when you won't be. This will ensure that you do what you want at specific times of the day. Being too available can lead to burnout, so it's important to reserve certain times of the day where you are able to work and other times of the day where you can be available for anything outside of the startup. Finally, learn the power of no. Saying no can be a challenge for most people. You can say no to working extra hours. You can say no to the tasks that won't give you a positive return on investment, be it money or time. If it's not a priority, you can say no to it and move forward with what really matters. When you master this power, life will be easier. It's easier for us to say no to the important things due to work. However, it's never the best option. Make a list of things that you should say no to. This includes non-urgent, non-important tasks such as getting sucked into social media during work hours. Do the unproductive things less and you'll be able to focus more on building the business. So that covers everything you need to know about building your startup while getting the best work-life balance possible. Take good care of yourself and be sure to follow these tips above. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.